So you just saw a video uh, the other day about us changing a rail because it had a fuel leak that was difficult to find. Uh, what you didn't see in that video is how difficult it was to just unplug the rail pressure sensor. That job fought us all the way. Some jobs do. And I thought, you know, I want to put this, uh, this up about how hard it was to unplug this sensor uh, because if we had damaged the pigtail, that's not a repairable part on this harness. You can't buy it. So we would have had to change the harness. And I think the harnesses are running for a little over a thousand bucks for an engine harness. So we don't want to go there definitely. But let's see why. What was the reason it was so difficult to unplug? Some of the plugs on these engines are really difficult to unplug. They've got double locks. This is a cover that we're trying to get off right here. And the cover actually, it just snaps on over the locking mechanism so that the locking mechanism can't get bumped and allow the rail sensor to unlock. So you'll see here in a second where we actually pop that lid off. There it goes. That's just a lid that pops on there. And this little slide bar that he's pressing on is the safety lock for the latch. And as long as that's in that position, you can't push down on that button to unlatch the harness from the pigtail plug. So there he's trying to press on it, but it's not going to move. So... Uh, Went to get a pair of pliers to see if he could press on that because if we damage this plug, then we're in trouble. So take a look up in the right corner. We finally got it apart. It had been painted together and that's why nothing wanted to move on it. On some jobs, everything just fights you all the way. This was one of those and everybody has those days. Uh, when you're dealing with an electro connector, just be careful. Take a step back, go get a cup of coffee. We used a very small screwdriver to go down inside the side of the plug and pry back and forth, wiggle it. He stuck a pocket knife blade down in the side there. We got a real small blade that we uh, ground and we finally got it to come apart. So you just got to have a little patience and that saves you a thousand bucks. Thanks for joining me. See you next time on Engine Shop Joe.